you are about to experience a 21st century nightmare. A voyage into an uncharted realm of futuristic fear. An expedition in search of the key to the unknown has uncovered a new form of life. More intelligent. More powerful. More frightening. Than anything ever encountered in space. Star Crystal. Star Crystal, a new form of life and death. Shit. Okay, welcome to my first episode of first time viewing films I've never seen before or I have not seen in the longest time. So, be the first time. And my first episode is the Star Crystal. No, not the Dark Crystal. The Star Crystal, which sounds lame. The Star Crystal. It's the Star Crystal from 1986. The same year the Aliens came out, so that's a bad sign. It's a film that two good friends of mine, Mike and Efri, say were a piece of shit. But I'm like, it was first time viewing. Have a chance to see it. Why not? Now, I did a review for a film called Valentine. In which I was... <clears throat> I purposely did it that I would watch the film and comment as I'm going. I wasn't going to do that. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do it with this film. It was just going to be a regular review. But. But. Like, Valentine moves on purpose. This, though, I got at the 26-minute mark. And I just, I, my mind is going to explode. <coughs> Which is so far, okay, it's written rather by Lance Lindsay, who did something called Real Bullets. Never directed again after that, that's great. You should never fucking direct a movie again just on the first 30 minutes of this fucking movie. What am I bitching about? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sum up what I've seen in the last 30 minutes and then go on from there. <coughs> okay, Star Crystal, 1986, starts up in 2032, right, it's a routine Mars expedition, these two guys are outside, they grab this fucking rock, they come in, and of course, I love the fact that they got fucking Coca-Cola, with a Coca-Cola logo, all nice and fancy and shit, now granted, I mean, it's not that long, 2032, it's not that long from this year, but I love the audacity that these people are drinking bottles of coke, like, okay, can you see this shit? See that? How you drink? Look at it. Coca-Cola! Like, it's, this is a film, 1986, right? And in 2032, they actually have the audacity to put Coca-Cola in there. It is... <laughs> it just made me laugh. I don't know. Maybe not a big deal, anybody. It just made me fucking laugh. But 
then they're like, oh, there's nothing inside it. Is there anything inside this rock? And then all of a sudden, just steam. Like, okay, you think, like, I'm thinking, okay, these are, this is our crew. I'm like, wow, they get really into it. In the first seven minutes, the thing's opening up, and underneath this rock is a crystal, and this little pile of mucus. First off, like, shit comes out like, uh, steam, and it looks like fucking milk. What the fuck it is? It's like steam, then like, is it fucking, then like drool? Is it drool? Milk? Is it milk? I don't fucking know. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, okay, let me make sure it's in focus. Right? See this drool? And actually, before that, I went too fucking far. Milk comes out. Oh, yeah, I get the Coca Cola bottle again. And steam, and the orange light, and now it's pissing. And milk, see, it's semen or milk? I'm guessing semen. Why the fuck would I have milk? <laughs> and then they go, okay, the, the two guys, and then there's another guy doing the sort of Dr. McCoy, and then you have a girl being somewhat bitchy, maybe she's a female lead, and then, okay, maybe they're, and then they're the, you know, our heroes or our whatever. Then you get this uh, Paul Mucus, which I guess is our big bad alien, which... There. This pile of mucus. Like, what the fuck? It looks like a dog turd. Okay? A dog turd that's moving. What the fuck is a slug with Down Syndrome? What the fuck is this shit, please? I look like fucking. I'd rather watch The Dark Crystal. It's okay. Then I'm like, oh, this is our. Okay, they're really getting into it. Kind of silly, but they're getting into it. No. Then, you have, like, cutaways, and apparently just out of the blue, now, the whole crew, like, random people are dead, and there's no air supply. I'm like, okay. And then it shifts to two months later to the space station. This fucking space station. It's like, the way they did this editing is bad. Like, it shifts to a computer screen, then, oh, okay, all of a sudden, everybody has dead from lack of air supply. I'm like, okay. Then they get to this space station, and you see this motherfucker with a mustache, and, like, they're having this meeting, and, like, okay, you get this, like, what I think were the leads, these two people, I don't know why, I just figure, okay, they're getting some time, and, uh, I went too fucking far, and what's up with this music? See, shitty acting, but it's like, okay, I'm getting to know these people. I no, well, not really, but I'm like, okay, those are our leads. So there's this lieutenant guy who's coming, he's fucking doing shit. Then, all of a sudden, I guess the ship that everybody was dead on arrived into dock in the space station. And out of the fucking blue. Out of the fucking blue. Oh, by the way, I gotta showcase some of this great acting. This is some great fucking acting. This is gonna be, oh man. The mucus. Breathing on me. Oh wait, I should use more drafting. You dumb buddy. I'm not reading off a cue card.
and I stopped it there. So now all of a sudden, just something fucks up with the station. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. And then it's like, oh shit, you know, there's a fire somehow for some fucking reason. And oh shit, it's, uh, then these people who were barely even fucking known get on a ship, they leave. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I guess that was a ship that was at the beginning. Then they're leaving on the ship, and then the space station blows up. I'm like, what the fuck happened with the guy with the mustache, and the lady with the coat they were with, and they're in this fucking meeting, and they don't talk. And all of a sudden, it just shifts to, like, what the fuck is going on in this fucking movie? And now all of a sudden, we're, these are our leads? I can't, I've never fucking under, never seen a movie where you never knew who the fuck the lead was in the first 15 minutes. Like, you think it's these two guys? No. And then all of a sudden it just shifts, like a view, to fucking know these people. And then it shifts a view to fucking the space station, and then why the fuck did the thing blow up? Oh, there's a how the fuck did the fire go on? Don't say the fucking alien, because the alien looks like it could not lift a fucking, it looks like if it had a dick, it couldn't lift its own dick. It looks like a wimp, fucking mucus, like something I cough off my throat. But, and it's in the same spot, like, it, it shows it's in the same spot, in the, you know, humping the fucking crystal, whatever, you know, close to the crystal, it's not on the fucking station, it's on the ship that they left on. So, what the fuck did it do in the space, what, it snuck in the space station, did shit, and it snuck back in, like, the Flash? What the fuck did it do to the space station to make it blow up? I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea, this is, what the fuck? So now I guess we're, and you know nothing about these people, and it's fucking... Yeah, there's five people now, and, like, one, like, horrible acting. I know what the fuck is up with this one girl with the fucking hair. Look at this hair. Look at this shit. What the fuck? Looks like someone that... Someone should push in, you know, cans on the street. Empty cans on with a fucking... Shopping cart. So I guess now these are our leads of unlikable actors, bad actors. I guess it's not the guy with the mustache and the lady, or the two guys who picked the rock up in the fucking beginning. It just shifts and shifts, and like, I don't know how the fuck this station blew up. The movement of this plot is so half assed. Like, it just shifts and shifts and shifts. And we're supposed to like these kind of characters. Like, okay, I'm gonna show you a scene. About where I'm up to. This is, we're supposed to like these fucking people. You gotta be shitting me. Look. Or listen. Is this an attempt at humor? If so, it's piss poor. Go to school, visit kindergarten class. They could tell better jokes and better attempts at humor. So I just listen, I'm going to do this way I did with Valentine. Some people were asking me to do this again. I'm going to do it for this fucking movie. Just 25 minutes and 26 minutes, and I found like a dozen things of just the horrendous movement, a plot of how you introduce these characters. Then it cuts away to computer screen. Then, oh, now they're dead with no air supply. Then it cuts to a space station. I guess it's the ship from the beginning. I guess they moved all the bodies, and there's people in there working on shit. Then all of a sudden, there's something going on with the space station. You don't know what. Some people run. Oh, there's a fire. Um, we're introduced to a guy with a mustache and this girl, and the, they're having this little meeting. But then, that's it. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. And then it blows up. You're like, What? <laughs> and then we're stuck with horrible actors, and we know nothing about these characters. So, I'm going to keep watching. This is a great way to start the fucking first time viewing episode one. This is a great way to start it. Mike and if you warn me, and I fucking listen. Shit. Once again, these characters are so unlikable, and like, either bitchy, or just horrible act. First off, I can't go over the fact in the beginning... Yeah, the Coca-Cola, because, again, this is 86, 
in this 2032, 2032, so like 50 years, they were just very fucking adamant that there'd be Coca-Cola with the same logo. Just killed me. And then like, you get the, this acting. Just listen. Hello ladies, this is Roger Campbell, your friendly host for this trip. And I look... Save it, Campbell. Sherry's not here. What do you want? Fucking Warshack? You're not cut out. You're doing okay, buddy. You should retire from acting, buddy. Look, Adrian. Adrian! We're all still in a little shock over what's just happened. I'm just trying to... I wish Stallone was in this. He'd kick your ass. Keep your humor to yourself, Campbell. And if Dr. Kim would be to you. Yeah, well done. If you don't mind, you're convenient. I'd like to have a progress report on the phone. Look, I've already done that, Campbell. It's Captain Campbell to you. Oh my fucking god. You know, you have some guy like, like fucking Rorschach's wimpy twin. Or Horshack. Is it Rorschach? Who's the fuck? It's Horshack, not Rorschach. Rorschach is fucking watching shit. Horshack. I meant fucking Welcome Back Cotter. That's what I'm trying The fucking guy from Welcome Back. Not Rorschach. Horshack. What the fuck his name is? This guy's a wimp. It's like, well, I like a progress report. And then this goes like, well, I already gave it to you. I'm like, I'm supposed to like these people? Blow my fucking brains out, shut up my ass, please. Because these are unlikable actors who get paid for this shit. If I'm unlikable in this review, fine. You didn't pay a cent. These people get paid. You need a refund. Fucking A and B and C, as in cunts. These are cunts. I have stupid joke. The slime straight out of Alien. Okay, she sees a slime, like I said, from Alien. Right? Horrible acting. Like a bag lady. Looks like a bag lady pushing shopping cart full of cans. And then, okay, she's walking. Now, what the fuck is she hitting? What is she hitting? What the fuck was she hitting? She walked to the thing and she's hitting something. What the fuck was she hitting? Now all of a sudden, like, tree branches gonna fuck her. She had a fucking tree branch in her face. Now what the fuck? Tree branches are, like, hugging her. Look at this. What the fuck is this shit? See, tree branches are humping her. And then a little bit of blood, and then they're humping her face. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was she hitting with the wrench? She, I got the thing fixed, and then she goes with a wrench, and then what the fuck is she hitting? What the fuck? I just had a marvel again at the horrible acting in this movie. Now, I mean, I say horrible, I mean horrible. I mean, they're trying to do banter. I'm like, this is acting. I'm sorry, I remember. Hey, look, there's a will, there's a will. Listen, pretty lady, we're not gonna let anything happen to you. You hear me? Good lord. Good lord. This is some of the worst acting I've seen in the past week. Did he just fucking say what I thought he said? Listen carefully, is this what I thought? Listen carefully, please. Jerry's just come back from the engine room and it's hysterical. As far as I can tell, something has happened to Lieutenant Lenny and I had something to do with the slimy substance all over Sherry's pants. <laughs> we've, we've always been a little suspicious of Billy's last being traced. <laughs> Fuck. 
I was wondering, all that's happened is that they found this girl found the first rose of Tath in the lame tree branch, humping death, dried up. Did I just hear right? Did I just hear that guy go, Oh, we've always been wondering about Billy's lesbian trait for jelly on the pan. Is that what I heard? Le le I got jelly. Lesbian trait. Who the fuck wrote this dialogue? Oh, yeah, the, the director, writer, fucking Lindsay Duncan or Lumpkin, where the fuck the name was, I don't care. They said it once right before. The dialogue. The dialogue. Urgh. Now I'm basically watching a shitty version of Pac-Man because I guess they have these lights. The the creature's trying to get in there. You see these lights? That's, I guess, the white is the alien because it has a different temperature. Shitty version of Pac-Man. I love how slow some of these lights go. Like... <laughs> It's like, whoops, can't move the light fast. See, it's like, can't move the light quite fast. <laughs> so basically, they're just locking the doors, and so the alien can't get through the air ducts. Yay. God, these attack scenes are so fucking lame, man. But basically, the update is the, the girl who was traumatized, the blonde girl, the, the other three people shut the thing, they're telling her, hey, shut it. She's so dumb, she stands up slowly, walks through the door slowly as they're taking a stroll through the fucking park. Not in a hurry. Then, of course, the alien is just creeping up on her. It sends this funky looking tendril out to her. It has hooks on and shit. So, of course, what's she supposed to do? The girl on the intercom, say, throws something at it, she throws something at it. And all you see is that it shoots out some tendrils, wraps around her. She's trying to get out, a little bit of wrapping of a tendril here, wrapping a tendril there. And, like, a decent effect of, like, her hand and, like, ooze something coming out of the skin. And now the black guy went to try to save her, but was too late. Looking around the room, shot it, it's going through the air ducts, and these attack scenes are fucking lame. It's all it is is a tendril. Like, that's it, it's just a little tendril. Like, we're supposed to be scared of this shit. Like, are you guys kidding me? Oh my god! I got silly string on me! And that's it? Really? That's it on the guy? That's that's all there is to it? Now what the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? The blood just disappeared. What? Decent effects. The only fucking thing decent about this movie. That's not Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> so, all we've done is that the thing tried to turn off their air supply, they turned it back on. Um, you have a lot of close ups of this. Alien slud mixed with fucking glow in the worm type alien bullshit. Breathing. Breathing. And then they find, hey, they don't find what happened, you know, at the beginning of the movie, the last expedition. I had to show you, this, this, I'm not gonna say a fucking word. Oh, 
you know, that girl has the right idea, I'm ready to fall fucking asleep. It's a life and death struggle. Three people you know have died as well as the space station, and they decide to put in this. This is crappy directing mixed with a horribly written script with badly cast actors given no characterizations, no memorable dialogue, or even halfway decent dialogue. In Alien, there really hasn't done anything but shoot a few tendrils out, which is nothing remarkable or scary or intimidating. Does the tendrils look like you could just break like silly screen? <sighs> Having a scene like that, which totally throws off a mood that you're trying to get, is... What kind of, I don't know what directing through this person went, but... Whoever taught him should be fired. Fucking fired. <laughs> Apparently, um, somehow, I guess, maybe the aliens making the ship move, because they have another ship that came upon them, with a guy going... Um, yeah, C-37, um, yeah, you're gonna, we want you to do a, yeah, 30 degree, um, uh, it's like he forgot his fucking lines, 30 degree turn, makes me think of that guy in offices, yeah, I don't need you to, um, come in on Sunday, yeah, and apparently the creature like did so that the other ship left, oh, everything's going alright, even though they didn't hear anyone talk to him. And now this guy going ape shit. This is hilarious. This is fucking hilarious. Don't damn miss the set! It's like... Oh shit, don't damage the set! Don't hit it too hard! Well, a little update. Uh, basically... I guess they're trying to figure out that this crystal, there was this crystal, and it's like a computer. So this thing was like a newborn baby when, in the beginning, they brought it in, and it's learning, and who knows how intelligent it is now. And apparently the ship then got into this very fake-looking meteor shower, and it's like two days later, and... What is up with this fucking music? <laughs> What is up with the fucking music? And now this guy is doing something. Man. Let's find out. <sighs> Yay. Something very strange is going on now. About 20 minutes left of the movie. The guy went to get medical, su su fucking medical supplies and came back. And the alien didn't touch him. It turned on the air supply. It's fixing circuits. Most of we just have the alien doing this, looking at a fucking crystal, blinking. It's accessing computer files on evolution of the human race. Why do I feel like this is that old bull will? This is... This is, this is the last straw. This is the ever-loving fucking pancake of shit. This is, this is, this is, this is, Fuck this fucking movie! The alien basically becomes a fucking a Jehovah's fucking witness! It reads the fucking Bible on the fucking computer. And then goes, oh, you know, uh, it was a misunderstanding. I was the self-defense. And of course the two people are like, well, what the fuck, you know, they try to kill him. And then things like, you know, I was self-defense. Look! The fucking slug meets blowing the worm. I mean, blowing the dark worm. 
fucking one. Where the fuck is you? Look your motherfucking shithead! Fucking E.T. Mountain, switch your fucking brain! Fucking fuck! It only becomes a Jehovah's fucking witness! Oh, I did this self defense! You kill like, all the people zapping them in the air? How the fuck was that self defense? Killing all those people on the fucking space station? How the fuck was that self defense? You went after. The fucking bitch, she had a fucking wrench. Don't know what the fuck happened with that. You come out there with a fucking tendril, what do you expect? A fucking hug, a blowjob? Fuck this fucking movie, I'm done. First time viewing, first time I'm fucking done. I can't believe this shit. Fucking goddamn fucking. Jehovah's fucking witness, alien. It was a Jehovah's fucking witness. Jehovah's fucking witness. Read the Bible and everything. Are you okay? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm fucking finished. I'm done. I'm fucking fat fuck. Shit. God damn fucking Jesus Christ. <coughs> no wonder this motherfucker writer director didn't do shit. He did one more movie and that's it. It's like, <laughs> fucking alien because the glow in the dark alien worm becomes a it's a whole fucking witness! What the fuck? What the fuck kind of ending is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? And like they're like, oh, what are you gonna do with us? Oh, I won't kill you. And then after that, everything's hunky dory. Grant, it didn't kill them, but still. Uh, How do we know you'll keep your word? Believe. Fucking believe. What? This is why you don't do endings like this to these kind of movies. I'll be in the control room. You make it out to be an alien ripoff. Great, it's original. You wanna know why it's original? This is stupid. It's fucking stupid. Just because you look like. Just so you look like you have fucking Down syndrome. Your ET fucking melted. Fuck me. You don't do movies like this. This is not. For those wondering what that reaction was, the girl actually says, I think I can trust you. And fucking smiles at it and walks away. And then you do a potion scene like this. What the fuck? You sure can eat this stuff? This will be quite sufficient. Will there be enough for you and yeah, sure, we got plenty. Now that you kill everybody! Mm, fuck you! Down syndrome, fuck! Thought about it. I didn't understand. Too far.
fucking bad. Tough Jones shit. Didn't understand. What? Understand my dick in your mouth. You fucking no. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. They're having dinner with the motherfucking... God damn it! <laughs> it's like one of those fucking, like, 80s sitcoms. And my buddy, my alien buddy, gonna help me play tricks with me. What the Where, where do you even start? You have... Star Crystal is one of the worst fucking movies I've seen in my fucking life. Great way to start first time viewing, right? Where's the fucking bang? Probably two hour long fucking video. It's probably more entertaining than the fucking movie. <laughs> what do you do? You have a beginning that's just so schizophrenic and it's moving a plot that you don't know who the fucking main character was. It's these two guys, they're Coca-Cola! You have uh, semen spilling out from a fucking rock. Oh, now that's the, all those people are fucking dead. Then, uh, go to the space station. Somehow it catches on fucking fire! And then, it blows up. And then you start with these five assholes that we don't give a shit about. Horrible dialogue, terrible acting, no terrorizations, you don't know anything about these people. They're, again, horrible acting. Um, you have, uh, I guess, three attack scenes where you just see a couple tendrils wrapped around someone and maybe a close-up of a hand with some ooze coming out or, you know, some blood. <coughs> um, very boring. Very boring. Everything else I've said before, and then it ends. With, granted, original... It's original, but if I would go play a dick and put it on a camera and then show it to the world, that'd be original. You don't want to see that. It's original because you don't do movies like this. You don't do sci-fi movies like this. You don't do thrillers. Hor it's meant to be a horror film, and now it's trying to be fucking E.T. So imagine if E.T. it killed everybody, it killed Elliot's family, its ma. Fuck you, everybody. And then, phone home. It'd be like, cook the phone home shit. 
Phone home, the cord is cut. You're not going home. Okay, you're going seven feet under. Oh my god. And the thing looks like a glow in the dark worm with a little bit of sludge. E.T. with Down syndrome. Nothing wrong with anyone who has Down syndrome. I'm not making fun of people with Down syndrome. I'm making fun of this fucking alien. And then, and then, the cat, it's a fucking Jehovah's Witness! Jehovah's Witness! He reads a fucking Bible, an electronic Bible, and says, oh, it's like, would well, you like to buy a watchtower? You know, it's just like fucking, oh my god. That'll be the sequel! He got fucking, he's a Jehovah's Witness knocking on the door! <laughs> The sequel will be called Mountain Top Motel Massacre. Anyone who knows my channel, you'll get the joke. If not, I'm not. The movies. Jehovah's Witness. And then, like, oh, uh, self defense, my ass. So, all those people in the beginning who cut off the air supply was self defense. All the, what about the people at the space station? You didn't even see the motherfuckers. How the hell was that? Self defense. Self defense, my ass. You creeping up on them, reaching out. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? Bullshit, my dick. Seriously. You would have done the same, it says. I would not have done the fucking same. It's called communicating. It's called talking. Learn how to talk. Learn how to communicate. Fucking fuck. You would have done the same, my ass. It's like, oh, I meet people on YouTube, I kill them before I talk to them. Kiss my ass. What the fuck? And then, like, then, it's like, well, they're trying real hard to make this fucking plot twist. They're trying real hard with, oh, it could have killed them, but it let them go. It's going to, it helped them with the ship with the air supply. It's helping them go home. It says, well, I'll stay here. How will you get home? Um, you know, I value friendship. What the fuck? Value, I value my shit as it falls on your face. I hit my fucking tooth. Pissed. Fucking pissed. Fucking Mike and Effie warned me about this. They told me the fucking ending, but I'm like, I, I don't, I can't buy that someone so stupid will put that in a fucking movie and think it would work. But Lindsay Duncan, Lincoln, fucking fuck, where the hell was Lincoln? Yeah. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> it's horribly, oh, every shit say, she fuck, dumbfounded. My God, what kind of ending is that? Because it's Jehovah's Witness, I can't get out of my fucking head. I have nightmares about it. Oh, it's not that bad. It's the dumbest fucking idea. One of the dumbest fucking ideas you can have. And I, you look at the posters. There's one poster. It's like you know they got something, and you know they're gonna wish they hadn't. Yeah. And then I, I love how these people are grand. It didn't kill them. It's, like, it's trying its best. But you can't tell me this, these people are like, Oh no, poor baby. What about you? How are you going to get home? They're playing fucking games. They're fucking having dinner with it. I'm like, Wah! You know? Dipping on what the Bruce Lee style. What the Oh, you know, like, I'm sorry about your friend. Oh, I haven't thought about it. You didn't think about it? You haven't thought about it? What? What? <coughs> so if I could kill a couple people, he'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't understand what killing was. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's a part of my brain, I gotta be honest. The things, you know, that's a, that's an interesting original idea, but my common sense goes, fuck that, get out of here, it's stupid, for this kind of fucking movie, you wanna do that for stop, if, if they didn't like killing, how about you knock them out, 
So you learn about killing, but not about knocking someone the fuck out? Oh no, knock them out! And then walk on by! And they, they forgave him pretty fucking easily. Oh, we did kill him. So, I still wouldn't be hunting Dory, but you know what, fine. Just be pissed at him, say, fuck you, you fucking shitty ass motherfucker. Suck my gold plated dick, kiss my ass, you cocksucking motherfucking piece of shit ass. Fucking goddamn. I don't fucking. Jesus Christ! This is probably an hour long fucking rant. <laughs> oh, fuck. And the top off is a shitty ass song, Crystal of the Star, run by Stephanie Christopherson. Christopherson. That's the girl who was the first Daphne on Scooby Doo. The first voice on Scooby Doo, where are you back in 69? 69? I wish I was doing 69 other than this fucking movie. She was the girl who, the first time, before they replaced her in like, 1970, whatever. She sang this fucking song! What kind of song is this? Crystal of a Star? Oh my god. Oh my fuck! That's like at the end of fucking Alien. The alien comes out and goes, "Ripley, hey, nice underwear. Sorry about your crew. It was a misunderstanding." And she went, "Oh, you're not gonna kill me? No. Okay, come over here." And then they fucking go to Earth to there. There, maybe get married. It's fucking. See how stupid that is? It's, it, you don't do that because it's stupid. It's one of the dumbest fucking third act twists. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks for watching me going insane with this fucking star crystal. 1986. Again, the same year as Aliens. That's how you do it. Aliens is how you fucking do it. Aliens. This time it's war. That's how you fucking do it. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I, I don't know, I don't, even, I don't even know what else to say anymore. I'm just fresh out of ideas of what the fuck to say. This movie, Star Crystal, sucks. Mike and Effie told me and they were fucking right. First time viewing, it started out with a fucking bane. A fucking job is witness alien. So, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Take the apology, shove it up your ass. Thanks for watching episode one. I'm a fucking. Episode two better be all that fucking better. But it's gonna be a long ass fucking month. Fucking shit. Star Crystal can kiss my ass. Fuck. Jehovah's Witness knocking on your door. Fucking you get this.